matendo ya mitume uh, chapter 2 sura ni wa pili and today we are so privileged na leo tumebahatika that we are going to read the entire chapter ya kwamba tutasoma uh, sura nzima touch your neighbor and tell them today we are reading the entire chapter 2 tumbia jirani ya kwamba tunasoma sura ya pili nzima of book of acts ya kitabu cha matendo ya mitume mwambie atulie So tell him to relax. It is not going to be a short chapter. Aita kuwa msomo mfupi. It is a long chapter. Ni maandiko marefu. But today we spend so much time to read the word. Na leo tunachukua muda mwingi kusoma neno. That is speaking about the word. Ambao ina neno juu ya neno. But I pray as we read this word. Na milango tukisoma hivi neno. May the Lord speak to you. Ya kwamba Mungu akakunene. For those of us who have our Bibles, who are the people of Bible, I want to encourage you. We get to know who is up. To many of us who are using our phone, who are the people who are using our phone as the Bible, come to believe. Just be, let it be known. What did you learn? That that is not the Bible. Ya kwamba hiyo sio Biblia. It's just, just business. Ni udaifu fulani. Let's get the Bible. Wacha tutafute Biblia zetu. Let's get the Bible. Wacha tukue na Biblia. Kama una if you don't have tafuta 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 brother Sam. Tafuta Sam. Mtafute na yeye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tafuta Sam mtafute na kwa sababu pia yeye hana. the book of acts chapter 2 and i will read in english na atasoma kwa kibogo i want you to try as you can naomba ujaribu uwezekanavyo and i want to pray that the holy spirit will help you naomba roho mtakatifu akusaidie that there should be no any distraction ya kwamba usikue na kitu ya kumshtumu interference ama kitu ya kuangaisha as you as we read this word tunaposoma hili neno when the day of pentecost came they were all together in one place Suddenly a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enable them now there was still now they were staying in jerusalem god fearing jews from every nation under heaven when they heard this sound a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one had their own language being spoken utterly amazed to be asked are all these who are speaking Galileans Then how is it that each of us hears them in our native language Persians Medes and Elamites Persians of Mesopotamia Judea and Cappadocia Pontus Asia Phrygia and the Pamphylia Egypt the parts of Libya near Syria Visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them declare the wonders of God in our own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, "What does this mean?" Some, however, made fun of them, saying, "They have had too much wine." Verse fourteen. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who believe, who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These 
people are not drunk as you suppose. It is only nine in the morning. Now, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. Verse 17. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my, on my sons, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs of the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood. Before the morn, the coming of the great and gracious day of the Lord, and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Fellow, fellow Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders and signs which God did among you through him, as you yourself know. This man was handed over to you by God's deliberate plan and full of knowledge. And you, with the help of wicked men, put him to death by nailing him to the cross. But God raised him from the dead, freeing him from the agony of death, because it was impossible for death to keep him hold on him. David said about him, I saw the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest above because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead. You will not let your holy one see the key. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. 29. Fellow Israelites, I can tell you confidently that the patriarch David died and was buried. And the song is here to this day. But, but he was a prophet and knew what God had promised him on earth that he will place one of his descendants on his throne. Seeing what was to come is part of the resurrection of Mount Messiah. That he was not abandoned to the realm of the dead. You know, in his body see decay. God has raised this Jesus to life and we all witness of it. Exalted to the right hand of God, he has received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit has powered out with what you know, with what you now see and hear. That for David did not ascend heaven, and yet he said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I will make your enemies footstool for your feet. Therefore, let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus who you crucified, both Lord and Messiah. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children, for all who are far off, for all who whom the Lord our God will call. With many other words he warned them, and he pleaded with them, save yourself from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 were added to their numbers that day. Conclusion, verse 42 to 47. They devoted themselves to apostles' teachings and the fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to everyone who had need. Every day, they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together glad 
and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to the numbers daily those who are saved. Amen. Let's give our clap to the Lord Jesus. As I began saying, my prayer this afternoon is the Holy Spirit to speak to us. The help understand what these words mean to us. In case you are wondering, why did Pasi have to read the entire chapter? Why did Pasi have to read the entire chapter? I am also wondering as you. Because the Lord led me to read the entire passage. When my desire was just to read verse 42 to 47, Kama umilangu lilikuwa tu ni mstari wa arubaini na bili ya arubaini na saba, which had the message of today. Mbao lilikuwa limebeba ujube wa siku ya leo. And the message of today is fellowship with one another. Na ujube wa leo ni ushiriki kwa pamoja. As the disciples and our first believers and Christians and followers of Jesus Christ did. Na vile wanafuzi wa Yesu ulivi ufanya. Bible tells us that they believe And they had an opportunity to share whatever they had together. And every time I kept on reading this passage, and it happened to be my, 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 my it happened to be the word that the Lord had for me today. That it's important as Christians to fellowship together. It is important for the family to fellowship together. It is important for friends to fellowship together. But in the days and the lives that we are living today, we all need each other. No one can be able to function on their own. Somebody can become complete. Ili 